Hi guys, uh, last classes we are uh, we gone through the tutor scenarios, right? And we know that how tutors are analyzing the data, okay, using the pig concept. And in that, what we observe that the pig is not going to uh, do any kind of storage, okay? It is just taking the data from the SDFS. After taking data from the SDFS, it do some kind of transformation. And after transformation, what it will do? It will try to put the result back to the Hadoop, back to the SDFS. Okay. So, this pig is uh, basically used for data analysis in tutor, right? Tutors used for data analysis. Okay. That what we discussed in uh, yesterday class, that last classes we discussed about tutor scenarios. Today classes, we are going to see uh, what is the basic difference between uh, basic difference between pig versus hype okay as I told that the pig and hype both are going to solve the same problem okay both are going to solve the same issues okay but we have some basic difference between the pig and hype the first thing is what the pig is nothing but you can say that here this pig is the pig is what it is just a client side application just a client side applications okay we can install the pig and you can start writing the script okay so it is just what it is just a client side applications okay so pig is open source we can get is open source we can download it and you can start using in your laptop in your systems but coming to the hive the hive has both features it may be client side applications and also it has a thrift servers you have we have a thrift servers right just like you can use b client okay b client and you can access the server also so it is ha it has an optional thrift server but in the case of the hype this pig pig what the pig doesn't need jdbc and odcp or the odbc connectivity Okay, so no need of uh, JDBC and ODC connectivity what in the case of the pig, but hype required JDBC and ODC connectivity for the hype. Okay, because you want, when you're going to access the server, definitely you're going to have JDBC and ODC, ODBC connectivity. Okay, so hype required JDBC and ODC, ODBC connectivity. Now here the schema is not mandatory. That's what the pig is in pig the schema is not mandatory but optionally definitely if you want to give a schema we have no problem for the pig we can define a schema or you can we can work without a schema the pig will give features that we can able to load the data without a schema also so here a schema is not that much mandatory as hype because hype in hype a schema is 100 percent required why because the hive is working on the structural data and the structural data is what is rigid schema you must define the schema for the hive but for the pig it is we have no any mandatory mandatory option for the schema okay if you want you can have a schema if the you doesn't want we can have without a schema also okay it is it is optionals okay now schema is mandatory but in the case of in the case of hive so hive definitely required schema because it operates on structural data this pig is what it is used by developers the pig is used by developers right because yahoo we have developers which are working with the scripting languages they know python right they know ruby they know cell scripting so basically it is what it is designed by the designed by the developers and what it is used by the developers in the case of the pig now it is used by data analysis okay widely if you see this hive the hive widely is being used for data analysis okay if you want to analyze the huge data sets we are we are going to use we are going to use the hive okay here the pig use language called as pig latin what kind of language the pig is using the pig is using the language which is called as pig latin language okay the pig latin language can be used by used by the pig whereas the hive use what language it use sql language which is also called as hive query language hive query languages okay now can you tell me apart from this what difference you may have 
what difference you may have here apart from this yes this is what i given some of the basic difference between pig versus wild apart from this what difference you can have we can have one more the difference that the pig doesn't require metadata there is no need of metadata what metadata for the pig but hive required metadata and to store metadata we need to have meta store for the hive okay so meta stores for is 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 maybe any relational database any rdbms okay is being called as meta store the meta stores are used used to store metadata so here this hive need metadata whereas pig doesn't require any metadata you should not have any metadata for the pig the pig can work without metadata you know why because the pig is just getting data from sdfs processing it storing result back to the sdfs there is no any storage scheme in the case of the pig the pig doesn't require the metadata can you tell other difference you may have you see if you want to learn the pig the to learn the pig you may it may take lot of time to learn the pig because the pig for the to learn the pig you should learn a new language which is called as pig latin okay and for that you have to start from the scratch you should know what kind of syntax you are going to use for the pig how the how you are going to uh, write a logic for the pig you should have good concept about scripting languages so somewhat the pig is complex uh, complex high level language what compared to the compared to the hive but hive for the hive if you know sql if you know very much sql if you are very much fun about the sql this hive is very easy to learn because the sql is a foundation for what foundation for the hive so you can say that this pig is a is a high level data high level uh, languages and hive is based on the sql so if you know sql we can easily learn the hive okay can you tell can you tell me other uh, other uh, differences here okay let me let me say you one more difference this pig can can operate on structured data you can use a structured data for the pig we can use an structured data for the pig and you can use semi structured data for the pig okay so it can it can handle these three categories of data but in the case of uh, unstructured data it can handle some unstructured data not pure unstructured data if you give audio video images for the pig for the pig it is very difficult to process that kind of data okay but anyhow at current scenario at current situations we can say that this pig can handle the structure semi structures and unstructured data but here the hive is totally opposite to the pig because the hive doesn't allow semi structures and unstructured data the hive will operate only on the structured data only on the tabular data only on the tables form data okay so the hive will operate only on relational data management system those who are having the structured data so the hive will operate only on the structured data but pig will operate on three kinds of data so these are the basic difference between the pig and the hive okay but we have one common goal what common goal they are going to solve the same problem they are going to convert uh, the, they are going to see in the case of hive the hive sql queries will convert into the series of may produce programs same in the case of pig the scripting the scripting uh, language what will going to convert into the series of may produce programs based on the convenient this pig is developed by what developed by the yahoo and yahoo developers they are very good in scripting language that's why they use they develop this pig uh, pig tools coming to this hive who has developed the hive the hive is developed by the facebook company and the hive the hive developers they are very good in sql queries that's why it is interface what it is interface and it can convert all sql queries what into series of may produce programs so these are the basic uh, difference between the pig versus hive if you go to interview right as a final year candidate if you attend interview this questions will fire for you tell me the basic difference between the pig and hive then you are in positions to answer this kind of questions 
okay well, how what is the main difference between the pig and hive what language the pig is using pig using pig latin what language the hive is using the hive using the hql which is called as the hive query languages okay so these things you have to keep in mind when you're going to face any kind of interview being a final year students now you're going to see where not to use pig everything is have some limitation as a human being we have some limitations i cannot walk for 24 hours i can walk for maximum 8 hours or 9 hours this is my limitations similarly the pig is also have some limitations okay see really nasty data format or completely unstructured data cannot be processed by the pig the pig is failed to process the pure unstructured data if you give pure unstructured data such as audio video image then for by using pig it is very difficult to process such kind of data this is one word this is one drawback of what one drawback of the pig okay now pig is completely slow compared to map to jobs obviously see whenever using some translators whenever using some interface it is very slow you see in the case of hive also the hive is also very slow computer compared to the map to jobs similarly here the pig is also very slow compared to the map to jobs because for the pig first you have to write the script using pig latin language and after writing the after writing this language we have to convert them into series of map to programs okay so therefore definitely is going to be a slow process it's not, it's not not like a original favor you're going to get okay so it means that here the peak is is very slow so when you want when you want your uh, when you want the work should be done very fastly or if you want to uh, analyze the data at very high rapid rate that time the peak is not recommended okay see i need the result within 0 0.05 uh, millisecond or i need result within 0 0.85 millisecond in such scenario we can say that the pig is not recommended okay now if you want to have very very high speed definitely this pig is not going to be recommended why because the pig is very much slow compared to the map to jobs or map to programs okay this is the where the hive is having somewhat little bit disadvantage with respect of the hive now we are going to discuss the anatomy of pig and before going to discuss the anatomy of pig i want to tell you a, a very uh, good use of the pig where you can use as a pig in which scenarios you are going to use the pig okay sometimes these questions will be asked in interview time also how in whose scenarios we are going to use the pig okay now here just look this one now suppose we have an hado okay this is your Hadoop. In the Hadoop, you are going to store the data. You are going to store the data. Now, we are bringing the data from different source. From different source, we are going to bring the data. Suppose we are bringing data from MySQL. Okay, from MySQL, I am bringing data to to my to the Hadoop to the Hadoop. Or you see web server. We have a web server. Okay, and from the web server. I am going to bring from the web server. I am going to bring call as log file. Suppose log file is a kind of data. Okay, I am bringing from the web server. Similarly, I am bringing uh, some of the important data from application server. What servers we have? Suppose we have the application server. Okay. What does it mean? It means that we are gathering the data from the different sources from the different sources you're going to gather the data so here the thing is that how we are going to insert the data from the different sources we are using we are using some of the tools okay through these tools only we're going to insert data to the to the hardware okay we can insert structured data we can insert unstructured data we can insert semi-structured data to the where to the hardware to the Hadoop, you are going to store data to the Hadoop only. For example, for instance, I am using a scoop. I am using what? A scoop to get data from the MySQL to Hadoop. 
it means I'm importing data from MySQL to Hadoop. And I'm using another tools called as Flume. Suppose I'm using a Flume, okay? The Flume is another kind of tools through which I'm getting some data. You can say some kind of unstructured data from where? From this source to the Hadoop, okay? It means I'm just getting data from different source. I'm keeping to the Hadoop. In Hadoop, we can create a new folder. Suppose I'm creating a new folder and my folder name is called as what? Vignan, okay? Vignan is my folder name. So what I'm doing here is that I'm dumping all this data into this folder, which is called as Vignan. Whatever data I'm getting from the different types of sources, just I'm dumping them where into this Vignan folder. So all of my data is available in the Vignan. Now my question is that, very important questions. If Hive want to use this data, can Hive can process this data? Will the Hive will process this data? Okay, definitely not. Because whatever data you are keeping here, it's a raw data. It's raw data. We need to filter it. We need to filter it. We need to take out unwanted data. I don't need unwanted data. I need to have only wanted data. Okay. In this scenario, what are you going to do? So if we have a raw data is available in this folder called as beginner. And from this folder, this hype cannot do any kind of analysis on this folder because it's a raw data. So in this in this scenario, what you do? We have to bring our tool, right? You have to bring our pig tool. The pig tool is also called as data factory tool. What pool tool? Data factory tool. Okay. This what pig will do is that the pig will access this data from this folder. It access data from this folder. After getting this data, it will try to do some kind of transformation. Try to clean the data. Try to take out unwanted information from this folder. So you can say that here what the pig is act like a cleaning of data. So it is also called as cleaning factory. It will just clean. You see the nature of the pig. Right? How the pig is. If you see if the pig will get some kind of dust. Here and there, the pig will eat the will, will eat the dust. Okay, if the pig pig finds some tools, his tools he will find here and there. The human is tools, the pig will eat. It means that the pig is cleaning the environment. Right? If you dump something outside, the pig is ready to eat. If you dump something outside, food outside, the pig is ready to eat. What does it mean? The pig is keeping the things very cleanly. It just clean it. It just eat and clean it. The same strategy you are going to apply here also. That's why the pig is high call as the cleaning, cleaning tool or here it is called as cleaning factory. Okay. So what pig will do? The pig will take this data from this folder called as beginner. And after that, what it will do? It will do some kind of transformation. It will transform this data. It transform, it transform its data and it produce intermediate result. It produces some intermediate data, clean data, transform data. And after transforming, what happens? It will it will place this data where it will place this data into Hadoop. What happened? It will place this data where into the Hadoop. It means the same data, the modified data, the transformed data is placed into this Hadoop. Now we have a clean data. We have a good data in this Hadoop. Okay. We have a transform data. Now, now what Hive will do? The Hive will process on this, on this, on this data and they will generate a report. They'll do analysis. This is the beauty of the pig. The pig is very powerful. It clean the data also. If you have unwanted data is available on the Hadoop, it takes the data from the Hadoop, it try to clean it and, and save back to the Hadoop so that the hype can be used. So the pig is also helping the hype. Yes, the pig is also the helping the hype to produce a transform data. So that transform data, the hype can use and he can do all kinds of operations. So in these scenarios, the pig is very much 
very much useful. Okay. Now, now you understand where not to use pig. Pig cannot be used for pure and structured data. Where not to use pig? The pig cannot use where you, you can find the queries should be very fast. When you find the results should be very fast because the pig is somewhat slow compared to the may produce programs. Right? In that scenarios, the pig cannot be used. Now, I hope you understand this uh, scenarios, uh, how the pig is helping the hive too. Now we're going to see the anatomy of pig. We're going to see the here the anatomy of pig. Here the main components of the pigs are follow. What are the main components of pig? Okay. What is anatomy of human body? What is the main components of our body? Right? We have a brain, we have a hand, we have a eyes. Okay. With that only you are walking, we are sleeping, we are thinking, we are reading, you are writing exam, getting job and your life is comfortable. Without that you cannot do anything. Right? If anything is wrong on your body part, it will be your life is become like hell. The same thing happening here also. This the pig is have the important components. That is called one is called as pig Latin. The pig Latin is nothing but it is a language used by the pig. Okay, so you are going to write this script using what the pig Latin languages. So this pig Latin is a kind of language which is used by the pig. So if you want to write any code, right, we have to write using the pig Latin. You have to write the script using the pig Latin. So pig Latin is the main component through which we can write, we can write command, we can write script, we can execute the command, we can execute the scripts. Everything can be done using the pig Latin only. Now, this pig latin will have what? Interactive cell. Interactive cell. Because through cell only, you are going to pass the command. Through cell only, I am going to write the script. Okay? And that cell name is called as, the cell name is called as grant cell. What is the name is called as? The grant cell. This is very important cell used for the pig. Grant cell. Grant cell. So once you enter the grant cell, then only you can write the pig script. You can write the pig. Without entering the grant cell, we cannot execute any command. We cannot write any script. You cannot write a, a, even a single line also. So if you want to write a single line, if you want to execute the command, you must enter into the cell, which is called as the grant cell. And this grant cell is what? It is interactive in nature. What is interactive? I can write line by line. First line, first line I can write. Okay. Then I can write the second line. Okay. Then I can write the third line. Okay. Then I can write the fourth line. Like this, what happens? I'm going to write, I'm going to write the script. Okay. By using the pig Latin syntax. Okay. So this by through interactive cell only, the developers, the programmers going to write an script programmers going to execute the command okay and that can be done only what using the grant cell the grant cell is should be very much interactive through that only we are going to give input okay and you're going to pro do the processing so grant cell is so very interactive we can write the series of lines many lines you can write and you can perform the operations so grant cell is one of the important components of the of the pig pig interpreters and execution engine you see here pig interpreter why i am calling it pig interpreter we know that all scripting language almost almost many scripting languages they use interpreter okay if you see python pythons use what interpreters it checks line by lines and it's going to you're going to compile the programs okay so here whatever the scripts you're going to write that script must be converted into a series of may produce jobs series of may produce jobs and that can be done using what the pig interpreter or you can also call as the pig compiler also see you can call as pig compilers pig compilers you can also call as anyhow the main task of this Compiler's interpreter is what, you know, to just take the script and convert them into a series of may produce program. 
and that can be done what what would the execution this this is called what engine the execution engine this execution engines will take care of all may produce programs okay and they will do the processing and get result back to the back to the developers so this is called as what the anatomy of the pig okay what is the main anatomy of the pig you have we have the pig latin just remember like this pig latin then we have the cell interactive cell which is called as grant cell through that one you are going to write the scripts and you need a uh, interpreters and execution engine okay what interpreters will do it takes the scripts convert them into the series of may produce programs okay and edu execution engine will take care of all the may produce jobs activities process them and get result to the get result back to the developers okay so this is the what the main anatomy of the pig now you are going to see the pig on hadoop what is pig on hadoop where the pig is will, will, going to run when you are running the pig the pig run only on hadoop isn't it am i correct because the pig is invented to work for hadoop nothing else that is the main purpose of inventing the pig why you have should be crazy about the pig because you have want to work with the hadoop to to give more convenient for their developers they invented what they invented the pig so therefore you can say that literally you can say that the pig is only invented for the hadoop it runs on the hadoop how it runs we have to install the pig on the top of the hadoop okay the hadoop means we have to install the pig on the top of the hadoop and you can use it and you can do all stuff of works okay that is what here is then pig use both hadoop distributed file systems and may produce programming of course sdfs why because in hadoop you see if in hadoop if you see the hadoop is nothing but it is called as cluster which is combination of sdfs which is combination of hdfs and you can call as map reduce what is going to call as map reduce you can call as map reduce right now here what is the use of sdfs it is going to store data if you want to store your big data we have to use sdfs concept sdfs so in sdfs you can find all kind of data all variety of data okay all variety of data in the terms it holds the structure semi structured and structured data and what is use of may produce it is used for the processing it is used for the processing so what pig will do the pig will just in the pig we are going to we are going to write the scripting language using the pig latin pig latin is a language used by the pig so by using pig latin language you are writing the script all the script have been written and then what it doing we are just converting this script what script into the series of may produce programs okay it means for the processing of data for the processing of data we must convert into the may produce programs okay and what pig will do the pig will access data from where it will access data from from hdfs that is hadoop hadoop distributed file system it will access data from the hadoop distributed file system and after accessing what it will do it will try to it will try to process it it will try to transform it it will try to do some kind of manipulations and once manipulation is complete what happens the pig is try to store the results back to the sdfs okay so you can say that the pig is what the pig using both hadoop distributed file system and may produce okay and for how is yeah the next is by default pig reads input file from sdfs that's what i'm going to say is that what is happening here is that see the pig reads input input files from sdfs so in sdfs we have a data we have a file in sdfs who can read this file the pig will going to read this file that is going to call as a reading operation then pig store the independent data data produced by may produce jobs it means after processing after processing on the on the sdfs the data will store back to the back to the sdfs it means the pig will just take data from the sdfs it will try to process them transform them into intermediate data and that result will store back to the sdfs 
okay in that way this pig is going to work on the hardware now the pig can also read input from and place output to other sources also okay that is exceptional case the pig can also uh, read input from other source and it can produce output to other source also okay so this is called as what the pig on hardware pig on the hardware keep it mind that the pig runs only on hardware the pig can use sdfs to access data from the sdfs the pig can use map reduce program to process data on the sdfs after processing the, the result can be stored back to the hadoop only that's what the meaning of the pig on hadoop coming to the next pig philosophy now some people were thinking why you had given the name pig right why you have given the name pig is it important to give the name to this tool as a pig there is philosophy behind it because you see apache guys are very funny guys they are very much funny they are very much jovial okay they have given this name pig with some kind of philosophy so we're going to see what kind of philosophy they have why they had introduced introduced the name as a pig because everybody have some philosophy okay everybody have some philosophy philosophy so same thing happened for this uh, uh, apache guys they had given the name as a pig depends on certain circumstances depends on some situations they feel that this tool should be named as pig only so you are going to see the philosophy of the pig why the name called as pig okay now see the first philosophy and try to try to match just imagine the pig and try to match the philosophy with pig only then you can come to know the reality about the pig now let me see the first philosophy this is pig right i hope you feel good oh this pig this pig looks very beauty right but you see the philosophy of this pig why the name called is pig is it beauty right it look very uh, adorable it's very dapper L looking is very dapper right now you see the first philosophy right first philosophy is pig eat anything am i correct pig eat anything if you give whatever to the pig it will eat it never says no give mutton it will eat give chicken it will eat eat give any even the give you stool also it is going to eat pig eat anything it means that the pig can work on any kind of data any kind of data pig can work on structured data it works on unstructured data it works on semi structured data it means the pig eat any data any data we have three categories of data we know in big data one is semi structured structures and uh, unstructures the pig eat any pig eat structured data also the pig eat unstructured data also the pig eat unstructured data also that's why you can call as pig eat anything so our philosophy is matching right this pig eat anything very good he eat anything so our pig also pig will also eat anything it can eat structured data semi structured data and unstructured data right next is here we can see here the pig live anywhere right you see you can find pig in home you can find pig in uh, you can say you can in jungles if you go to forest you can find pig in the forest okay guest house you can keep it in the pig so you can find pig anywhere so he any enemy says this pig will be always around hadoop always around the hadoop it support it support any platform you can work pig on unix system you can work pig on linux system you can you can find pig anywhere anywhere you can find the pig you can find pig around hadoop always he roaming around hadoop 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 you can find pig in any kind of platform so it what it lives it lives anywhere that's why you can call as this is a pig tail because he can live anywhere he keep anywhere he never says i don't want to live 
he keep he just take take your home he will stay happy to your home take take him to the guest house he will go to the guest house take them into the forest they will go to the forest for them doesn't for them everything is okay for them everything is okay for them same thing here also the pig can be used in any platform you can use in linux you can use in unix system it can be uh, always uh, behind the hadoop run behind the hadoop always ro roaming around the hadoop that's why you can call it the pig live anywhere here the pig are domestic animal again you may ask question is it pigs are domestic animals of course if you go to uh, if you go to other countries in european countries you can find they treat as what animal domestic animals of course pig is what animals domestic animals so i can train the pig as per my requirement see dog dog is domestic animals if we train the dog we can we can behave depending upon the training you can tell the dog sit he will sit because you have given training how to sit if you tell to the dog just go and bring my shoe he will go and bring you shoe because you had given the training right so based on the user training the dog will going to work based on the user training the pig is going to work okay based on my training only based on my wish only the pig is going to work the pig is going to, if i say to the pig come on pig will come to my home if i say eat he will eat if i say sleep the pig will sleep so what i did i customize the pig i train the pig in such a way that the pig is going to work i going to listen my words going to listen my instructions whatever i'm saying the pig will listens because i tra i given training in such a way that the pig should follow my instructions pig should adapt to my my behaviors okay whatever input i given to the pig the pig must follow that such kind of input that's why you can call as the pig is a domestic animals the same thing happening here also see in a pig we can have udf what you can have udf what is udf which is called as user defined functions i can create my own functions just like hive i can create my own functions and i can use in the pig i can use in the pig cell i can use in the grunt cell and i can run i can use it and i can run the complex complex problem i can query the complex problems so the pig is giving a facilities for the users to create their own functions to create their own functions right that is called what functions user defined functions of course the pig is also having a lot of inbuilt functions available for the pig but you can also have you can also create a user defined functions and as per my convenient i can use these functions to solve the problem as per my convenience i can use that functions to solve the complex problems that's why the pig are domestic animals okay and i can use pig as per customization as per the customizations so depending upon this philosophy this crazy boy that apache boy they had given the name as a pig tool because the pig had the same philosophy right the pig eat anything if you give anything to pig they will eat pig fly what does pig pig fly do you think that the pig is flying of course not if i say pig is flying means definitely you will feel that i am loon i am made how the pig will fly here the pig pig fly means it has different context it means we can process the data at high speed we can process the data here it means we can process the data at somewhat high speed okay the development of development time is very less in the pig as i told earlier that if you write 10 lines of pig word the 10 lines of pig is equal to 200 lines of 200 lines of java 200 lines of java it means you are writing the same code with 10 lines it means why development time the development time is very very fast in the case of the pig and aeroplane is very fast aeroplane is flying right now you can fly with aeroplane right you can fly and you can reach within a 
within short period of time to your destination. And same thing happening here also, right? We can optimize the code and optimize code will give you a better performance, okay? So it is, it means you, you can, the, you can minimize the development time. We can process the data very quickly. That is called as what? The peak fly. So with this contest of, contest of pig fly, pig eat anything, pig live anywhere, pigs are domestic animals. These people, these Yahoo people, those who invented this pig till, they decided that we have to give the name as a pig tool. Just give the name as what tool? The pig tool, depending upon the philosophy of the pig. The same pig, I am talking about this pig only. So there, this all these philosophies matching with what with the characteristics of with the characteristics of this pig, with the behavior of this pig. That's why they named as a pig, P I G pig. Okay, that is the thinking of or philosophy of the developers, philosophy of the inventor who invented this tool, which is called as the pig. And pig is a scripting tool. What tools? It is a scripting tools. Okay. So I hope you understand this uh, the pig philosophy, pig architecture. Okay. So we're going to uh, start this pig architecture uh, in the next sessions. So thank you very much for attending the my sessions. Okay. Thank you very much.